Hey guys, Dr. Andy here. Uh, today I want to talk about what to do once you're starting to feel better, right? So if that means that you are currently under a course of care with us, or maybe you have in the past, and you're starting to feel a whole lot better, what do you do now? Where do you go from here? The number one most important thing for you to do is to stay moving. So we believe, uh, our goal, our why is that we believe that everyone should have a pain-free and active lifestyle, right? So movement is medicine. So if that, if we've been able to help you get back to your exercise of choice, or you haven't done a lot of exercising before, but we've been able to help you get there, maybe to start walking or picking up heavy things and putting them back down. Movement is medicine. We want you to continue that. Uh, we used to say that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now it's a fitness program. So number one best thing you can do going, going forward is to stay active and stay moving, whether it's going for a walk or going to CrossFit and being you know, super demanding of your body, right? Uh, next, I want to talk about, and because we, we, we get asked this a lot, um, what type of care we offer going forward, okay? And it just depends on what your goal is. But it goes by three different names. It's really the same thing, though. Preventative care, maintenance care, or performance care. Pre preventative care is just that you want to pre prevent a re-injury. If you've come in because you've developed neck pain or low back pain from sitting too much, or maybe you hurt yourself working out, you don't want that to happen again, right? So a steady treatment plan of maybe one time a month is able to keep you, your body moving a little bit more fluid, you're a little bit more resistant to re-injury. Uh, a Nordic study over um, in Europe basically compared people that didn't you know, follow any kind of maintenance care or preventative care and people that did, and the ones that did follow that program actually had less days of pain per year, okay? So the second kind of care is called maintenance care. Maintenance care is still, it's, it's roughly like that one time a month, and the whole entire purpose of that is maybe you've had a long trek, you know, over the years to months to feel as good as you do now and you don't want to go backwards. You want to maintain this awesome feeling of 100% all the time, all right? So that's the exact same kind of treatment plan that we do, okay? It just depends on what you need, obviously. Uh, and then our athletes, they really kind of call it performance care, right? So the, the entire idea of that is they need and they want their body to perform at 100% all of the time because if you have any kind of dysfunction in your musculoskeletal system, maybe the muscles are a little tired, the joints are a little uh, funky, not working quite the way that they, they should be, even if you feel no pain, right, that's still going to hinder and restrict some of your movement patterns and you're not going to be as explosive and you're not going to have as much power as you normally would if you were operating at 100%. So depending on what your goals are, if it's uh, to have a high performance you know, in your sport, if it's to prevent re-injury, or if it's to maintain your body at 100% so that you feel awesome all the time, we are here for your future goals. So if you have any questions, just ask me, let me know, and we can kind of plan your health going forward. And always remember to live with passion, not pain, and to stay moving.